Ever since humans first flew to space, astronauts have described the experience as completely changing their perspective. I remember floating there just thinking about, oh my gosh, everything is connected. But a new study found zero gravity does not just change their frame of mind. It actually morphs the shape of their brains, and it could have big implications for the future of space flight. A research team scanned the brains of astronauts before and after they spent extended time in space, ranging from a few weeks to about a year. They discovered that parts of the brain moved up to two millimeters, a significant distance inside the skull. This MRI scan shows the changes before and after six months in zero G. We found that the individual structures in the brain move more and differently from what we understood previously. This diagram comparing before and after scans of three different durations in space shows how the same structures moved further up towards the top of the head. And those shifts can stick around long after returning from space. We've studied out to six months or a year after people get back and there are still um, brain position and fluid shifts that are visible at that time. As a control, Seidler and her team also studied the brains of 24 test subjects who spent 60 days lying down with their heads six degrees below their feet, eating, bathing, everything. The result, similar changes in those brains too. Scientists have been studying how floating in space for months on end can cause dramatic changes to the body. The cardiovascular system changes, the bones change, your eyeballs change, but then your body adapts to it. You come back to Earth, your body has to readapt. Adding the brain to that list of changes to keep track of is vital as missions grow longer and targets grow farther away. And splashdown. Recent incidents highlighting the effects of zero G affects human health, like Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, who said they had a hard time adjusting back to Earth's gravity after their unexpected nine month stay aboard the ISS. Gravity makes you tired, <laughs> very tired. Dr. Seidler says while the shifts in brain shape may look alarming, the impacts may actually have been minimal. But she says more research needs to be done on the long-term effects years and even decades after spaceflight. So having these shifts in position and fluid shifts coexist with aging, that may be when we start to see some symptoms emerge. It's one small shift for brains in pursuit of another giant leap for mankind. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.